It has been highly requested that I show you guys how to make flower crowns. I've used them in the past few videos and heaps of people asked where I got them from or how I made them. So this video is for you, showing you the materials and how to make it. So let's go down to my craft space. I'm going to plug in the hot glue gun so it can preheat while we start making it. Here I have the two LPS I will be making flower crowns for. You can use any types of flowers. You will be needing paper flowers. I got mine at my local craft store. You can get them at any one really because they're quite popular to use in craft. So they have lots of them. I just suggest the paper flowers because they're smaller and they actually work better because when I tried to do it with these foam ones, it didn't work as well because they're quite big. So I will be using three of these. I will be showing you two methods on how to make these flower crowns, so I'll be showing you the first method with this LPS. So I've got some thin wire, it's garden flower wire. So now we will be fitting the wire to fit this LPS, and sometimes the head sizes can be difficult. I will be twisting a knot here. So here we have our loop, so it'll be facing this way. So now we're going to wrap our flowers onto it. So you're going to get the flower and start wrapping it around the wire. And do it until you think it is firm and stable there. And then you can just cut it off because I use thin wire and thin wire is easier to cut than thick wire. Now you're going to repeat this step with the other two flowers and you're going to put them quite close together but not too far apart and not too close so it's got a little bit of space between them all. Now for extra protection of the flowers we'll be... Now for extra protection of these flowers we will be gluing the backs of the wire. Now we will wait for this to dry. Now for method number two we will be using these three pink flowers. So first we're going to shape it using the wire of the flower. So we're going to just wrap this right round and it's okay if it doesn't fit because we've got more wire which we can glue on but we will just need to cut this. So then you wrap it round and now we'll be gluing that for extra protection so there we go that is what we just did so we will now be fitting it on so I think this flower should go right here and we can just wrap this here with this flower and yeah now it's just like that you can glue it on but I'm just gonna wrap it on because I think it's easiest because it's more secure on there because it can come off more so I'm just gonna wrap it around and then glue it so with this method we use the wire from the flowers and we cut it so it's the right amount and then we added some more because it didn't fit properly and then we wrapped the other flowers onto the wire so that means that it could connect properly and then we glue the back so we have put all of them on and now we're going to be gluing the backs of it so it stays on and it works better so we have just glued that on here is the first one we made and here is the second one we made Here are the two flower crowns we made. It is more difficult with the different head sizes. This one was more challenging than this one because this one had a more simpler head shape so it made it easier to make. Comment down below your favorite, the pink one or the blue one. And these are easy and simple to remove. I will show you how to put them on and off now. So you simply just take a bit on the side and pull it off and then it's off and to put it back on you just put it on and then push this down, it won't scratch. If you have tried one of my DIYs, send me a picture on Instagram at SoothingLPS or send me a picture on Twitter at LilyLPS0 or just tell me you did the DIY in the comments. I hope this video helps you and if you have any more ideas or things you'd like me to teach you how to make, comment down below and I will make that video. Bye guys!